this video, we are going to learn dependent event and independent events. What is the meaning dependent event and independent event? From the word dependent, we know uh, dependent requires something to support. Independent is free from outside control, not depending on another. For the probability, independent events is the separate event where the first trial and the second trial are independent. Dependent events is the event that affect each other, where the first trial result affects the second trial result. For example, identify whether the following combined events are dependent events or independent events. Justify your answer. A. Obtain a head twice when a fair coin is totted twice. So this is independent events because the probability of getting a tail in the first toss does not affect the probability of getting a tail in the second toss. B. Obtain two pens, same color, where the two pens are taken out one by one from a pencil case that contain two red pens and three blue pens. Okay. This is dependent events because the probability of getting the first red pen affects the probability of getting the second red pen. Because when you take out one red pen from the pencil case, how many red pen left in the pencil case? At first, we have two red pens. So now left only one red pen in the pencil case. So this is a dependent event. Okay, now we look at the example of independent event. Diagram one shows three alphabetical cards in box one and two numbered cards in box two. So in box one, we have K, O, N. In box two, we have four and five. List, list the sample space for selecting a card at random from each box. So how to list the sample space? Okay, before we list the sample space, we can draw a table. Okay, so for box one, I write it in vertical and box two, four, five, I write it in horizontal. So box one, we, I have the letter K, O, N, N. Box two, I have the letter four and five. Now I try to write all the possible outcome into the table. So I might get letter K from box one and number four from box two. I also might get letter K from box one and number five from box two. I might get letter O from box one and let, uh, number four from box two. I also can get letter O from box one and number five from box two. Or I also can get letter N from box one and number four from box two. And also maybe I got N from box one and five from box two. So if I list the sample space, I write as equal to, don't forget the bracket offset notation. Okay, so K four, K five, or four, all five, M4, N, M5. B. By listing all the outcomes of the events, find the probability that a consonant and an even number are chosen. Okay, so now the keyword is N. When the keyword is N, measure both criteria is fulfilled. First is a consonant. And another one 
even number. So must have both. So now we look at the table. We have consonant K and even number four. So we can choose this one. Any consonant and even number? Yes, we have N four. Say even A is the probability that a consonant N and even number are chosen. So A equal to set notation K four and four. And probability of A equal to two because here, here we have two set of a consonant and an even number. So two over the sample space is six. So two over six equal to one over three. B to find the probability that a vowel or a prime number are chosen. So the keyword is or. If the keyword is or, you no need to fulfill both criteria. Either you get the vowel or prime number, you can circle it. So from the table, I choose the vowel first or the vowel, I circle it. And after that, prime number. So any prime number here, K5, or five already circle, then N5. Five is prime number, four not a prime number. So altogether, how many sets here? Four. So let's say even B is probability that a vowel or a prime number are chosen. So B equal to O4, K5, O5, and N5. We write it in set notation, don't forget. Probability of A equal to 4 over the total outcomes is 6. If we simplify it equal to 2 over 3. Okay, now we look at the dependent event. Diagram 2 shows three alphabetical cards in a box. Okay, we have Y, E, S. A is the sample space for selecting a card at random twice from the boxes without replacement. Okay. So keyword is without replacement. If without replacement means this is dependent event. Means the uh, the first trial result affect the second trial result. So if I take up Y already, I don't have letter Y in the boss. Okay, again, I draw a table here. Okay, so I fill in the outcomes in the box. That replacement means when I choose letter Y from the box, I don't have any letter Y in the box. So I put dash line. EE also dash line and SS also. Then only I write the possible outcome. So I have first letter, maybe I choose Y. After that, second letter, I choose E. Or maybe I, first letter, I choose Y. Second letter, I choose S. Or first letter, E. And second, Y. Or I might get first letter E. Second letter is S. First letter S. Second letter Y. And first letter S. Second letter E. So all these are possible outcome. Okay. So how we write the sample space? As usual, S equal to set notation. Y E, Y S, E Y, E S, S Y, S E. Okay, B. By listing all the outcomes of the events, find the probability that a consonant and a vowel are chosen. Now keyword N. So when keyword is N, means I need to find a consonant with a vowel. So I circle consonant and vowel together. So first is Y, E, because Y is consonant, E, Vowel, you know, vowel is A-E-I-O-U. So 
is vowel. We can have EY, ES, and SE. So as long as we have one consonant and one letter vowel, we can accept. So altogether we have four. So what is your answer? You list out first because the question asks you to list the uh, by listing all the outcomes. So you must list first before you write the probability. So D equal to set notation Y E E Y E S N S E. The probability of event D is four over the total outcomes is six. So simplify it two over three. B2. By listing all the outcome of the events, find the probability that both consonants are chosen. So we must find both letters are consonant. So where is that? Ys and Sy. So we write E equal to Ys, Sy. Must remember because the question asks for list all the outcomes so you must list out before you write the probability so probability is two over c and simplify it equal to one over three if you like my video please feel free to like and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you